finally what the Oh hey. What are these? These are explosive cubes. These oh. are not part of the puzzle exercises, most commonly used for demolition purposes by the engineering team. Huh. I think I didn't like these. I didn't realize there were a different type of cube. I was about to say, hey, we actually have a, a proper chute for the cubes to come out of. They don't just materialize out of thin air. Oh heck yeah. I can get behind this. Oops. Uh, but I'm hoping we're finally at the freaking reactor. This is getting ridiculous. Hello, ghost friend. So I wonder how many more official puzzle areas we have left. I think it said at the beginning of the game, it might be 12. There's, because there's 16 acts, but I really don't think there's 16 puzzle areas. But I'm pretty sure it was a nice even number. So there might only be one more. Oh. Is that that's all there was to this? I don't know, I guess I was kind of expecting to have to rewind all this demolition for whatever reason. So once we get in here, we can open these doors. You know what? I'm gonna do it because there is an achievement for repairing everything <laughs> in the museum. So you never know, maybe there's one for doing that here. And if nothing else, at least we're cleaning up our mess. I would hate to leave this place in such, such a state of disrepair, you know. everything? I think so. Take me to the reactor. Please. Detecting multiple entropy bots in the vicinity. Ugh, fuck's battle. sake. Hate those guys. Give me more explosive cubes. I guess I could have brought some with me, huh? Well, now that I think about it, I think there was an achievement for blowing these guys up. Oh yes! Permission to launch these cubes at these guys? I'm not one to condone violence, but permission granted. I think I need to hit three of them at once. Ow! Fuck. Honestly, I thought I just got it. What the heck? Come on, everybody, group together. Okay, you know what? I might just do this another time. Huh. Fuck me. Yeah, I'll save the achievement hunting for... What the fuck? Why didn't that blow up?
I'll save that for another playthrough, because I'm gonna have to do another playthrough anyway. Because I know I've definitely missed some of the, uh, the intel terminal things, you know? And there's some people finding all of those. So is this just like a, one of those typical lockdown situations? Okay, there's only two. That's not so bad. What are you doing in there? N is for no survivors. I don't feel bad. Uh, okay. I feel like there will be more of these in our future. Wait, did I go in here? I don't think I did. Just, uh, more explody cubes in here. Alright. God, don't tell me this is going to be that wind puzzle element, too. Uh-oh. That's definitely going to be used for something. No! Puzzle 12! <laughs> well, maybe this is the last puzzle one. Element introduction. Entropy fans. Entropy fans. It's just a glorified regular fan. To reverse wind force and pull objects towards them instead. Additional note: entropy fans can be used to propel yourself. <laughs> Sounds fun. Analyzing body weight. You are of an acceptable body weight to complete this puzzle. Okay, enough of that. Thank you. <laughs> So I could reverse these. I mean, okay, I guess that is pretty cool. And I can pause it. Uh, oh, it's not powered on. So pull that cube down here. All right, well, that's kind of cool. I don't hate that. Then, oh, I see. Wow, man, those must be some really powerful fans. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Uh, I didn't think this through very well. Okay, actually, that should be fine. I was thinking I would have to... freeze the cube? And that's why I wanted to do this first, because when I rewind that, the cube would fall. But now I can just rewind the cube. So... It's all good. But yeah, that's kind of terrifying. Takes me up here. This powers the conveyor. So I need to get. So I think maybe I stand 
here. So I can stand there. Launch the cube onto the conveyor. Then I use that to come up here. Rewind. Rewind that. So that'll get the cube over there. Then how do I... I guess I could also use that to get myself... Up. So let's Oh oh wait, I'm stupid. That was powering the fan, not the conveyor. Okay, well, it doesn't really matter. Um Oh wait, I'm stupid. <laughs> Conveyor's going the wrong way. Ah! Um. I'm a little bit concerned. Will this work? Ah, oh, yes. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, hang on. I don't think I wanted to do that yet. Because I also need to use that fan to get up. So in my head, can I... If I got the cube... I could grab that. Because in my head I was thinking... Okay, hang on. I don't think it's too late. I don't think we've fucked this up too badly. So I'll go back there. I think I thought this through very well. This is kind of what I had in mind, but it's a little more complicated than I realized. Okay, so that got me over here. Oh, fuck. Can I get this back? Ah, oh, beautiful. Wait, no, fuck. Uh, this is so frustrating because I had an idea in my head. I, th I feel like I had it worked out and then somewhere along the way I got lost. You know, I think the issue is that I was initially under the impression, I guess I just wasn't paying that much attention. Because I thought that was powering the conveyor and not the fan. I think that's the issue here. How am I gonna do this? Let me see... 
this fan is here for. Right, because there is just a button there to put the cube on and the bridge. And then I'm good. I don't really think I need this. Is it just there to make sure the cube or you don't fall over the edge when you come up here and bank off that? I'm going to assume that's the case. Oh! Wait, I think I understand. So I need to get the cube up there first, like I did it initially, and then I'll disable that, and then maybe it will fall. And then if I do what I just did, and then we rewind the cube... I think that'll work. God, yeah, it wasn't letting me click. Perfect. Uh, I can't really hit the fan from here. Looks so I could jump down and disable it. So that should still have its momentum. Yeah, but it still lands up there. My stupidity knows no bounds. <laughs> it's so fucking obvious. Holy shit. Okay. Wow, that that was uh that was pretty bad. Let's uh let's just agree to pretend like that didn't happen. Uh, I am a little bit concerned, though. If this cube is actually going to make it back to me. Okay. Yeah, because it'll, it'll make it back from when it got sucked by that fan, but not pulled up by... Wow, it actually does... Holy shit. It does make it all the way back to the start. Or at least... Where it needed to be. I still don't I I still don't understand why it seems like 38.2 seconds is like the magic number. Because at some point early on in the game, I think Astra or Terminal said 30 seconds, but then initially it wouldn't even get that high. It was stuck at like 20 something. I don't I don't know. Update. Yikes, that took a while. Seventy-eight percent. I mean, if this truly is the last puzzle area, oops. Ah, hot damn.
kind of confusing because when you pull up the the box, you can't actually raise it very high, but it'll still shoot exactly where you put your cursor. Always end up overshooting. Uh, but if this is the tr truly the last puzzle area, then we're gonna have to scrounge up some entropy energy from elsewhere. Okay, you know, I probably didn't have to be so destructive about that. Could just rewind the little things like normal, but. Oh, wait. Is there a terminal down here? Not one that's usable. Okay. But yeah, you know, when you give me an explosive cube, I'm gonna use it. Obviously. This is an entropy center emergency announcement. Entropy reactor core at five percent stability. Oh, fuck. Urgent maintenance required. Yeah, but we got time to do some reading. Hurry. What if the manual reset doesn't work? No worries, friend. I have the Entropy Essential Maintenance 101 Handbook installed on my systems. Let's see. Ah, yes. Step one of 93. To fix an overarching or Pardon? overloading reactor, disengage the Entropy Laser Capacitor Nodule. Pictured, image 20B, from the titanium rotation axle. Pictured, 31A. Then, by using a machine-powered decoupler... Oh, God. We're gonna die. <laughs> there is always a way. I believe in you, Arya. <laughs> oh, I'm glad someone does. You say that as if there's, like, a bunch of people not believing in you. There's no one else. That's 100% of... Well, I was gonna say people. Uh, sentient... Entities that are believing in you. Or perhaps she just doesn't believe in herself. Anyway, let's read. <laughs> Jared, I'm gonna keep it civil. But I will only say this once. Please clean up your desk more. The very reason we stand for is the very thing you're doing. What? The very reason we stand for is the very thing you're doing. You know, the way some of these are written honestly just don't make a whole lot of sense to me. Anyway. How can you sit there with a big view of Earth, criticize them for polluting their oceans, and being wasteful, and yet your desk is just covered in litter? Please, I won't be cleaning it up anymore. From now on, I'm going to put a post-it note on everything that you need to clean and throw out. That's so stupid, you're just creating more waste. I mean, isn't it kind of obvious what's trash and what isn't? I'm not seeing any post-its either. But there is, like, there are literal bags of trash here. Snack break. And back to area 12. Curious. All right. So this is where it needs to end. This powers bridge. Ah. 
interesting. So we can't disable that. We could use the fan to pull it from here. Okay, this might not be so bad. So I just go through. Uh. I hope the fan can pull it from there. But it should stay frozen, though. What did I do last time? Did I just release it? Oh, when I walk through, it'll be released, though. do anything more from here. There's glass in the way. So that has the new history, though. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I apologize for the frequent cuts. Uh, I had to get up and attend to something this time. So, yeah. I really hope I can string this together into something watchable. It'll probably be fine, but... I don't know. I just, I feel like I'm really struggling to get in a groove today, but gotta keep going. Can't give up now. Reactor core. God, you know, I gotta admit <laughs> this is starting to drag on a little bit. How did I end up here? Alone? I am unsure. But have hope, Arya. You have proven yourself very capable. Once you rewind Earth, you could safely return home if you so desired. I hope so. And what about you? What are you gonna do? I'm not sure what my purpose is if there are no puzzles to operate and manage. I guess... I may like to see what exists outside the Entropy Center. You should come too. Earth can be nice, from what I remember. Yes. I think I would like that. The PEAs aren't supposed to think like that. <laughs> anyway, uh, as I was saying, uh, this section of the game is honestly starting to drag on a little bit. Because it feels like for the last four acts, the game keeps telling me, Oh, the reactor's right there. You're so close. We're almost there. And it's just puzzle, 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 puzzle. And I get it. It's a puzzle game. I know that's the whole point, and you know, the puzzles are fun, and they're interesting, and they have some good mechanics, but like, I don't know, I I just, I feel like the game kind of needs something to uh, break it up a little more, like it did early on. I feel like there were more, I guess, break areas, or just like, story areas, you know, like like the museum or something like that.
or when we first reached uh, the main like control area and watched Earth explode for the first time. There just there hasn't been enough of that. The story has not progressed enough. It just it's like we're just all we get is these updates occasionally from Tanoi, the other robot voice we've been hearing over the intercom. Just saying, oh, reactor core is at this percentage. It's like, yes, I know, things are dire. But it hasn't felt that way. <laughs> Just doing puzzles. That's all we're doing. And if it's not that, it's getting chased by annoying, stupid robots. Anyway, let's try to solve this puzzle, why don't we? So... That'll get us onto there. We need that platform to move. Oh, what is this? Okay, that controls the platform. That controls the gate. This controls the door and that. Oh my god. We're doing all this with one cube? So it looks like this can't be disabled. So how do I get the cube? On this side of the room, I guess, is the question. It seems like I need to... Launch it. So I think I'm kind of escorting it. So the cube is meant to go up there, not me. Well, I would need to get up there too. Right, in order to grab the cube and bring it down there. But one thing at a time. So we can do this. I can stand there as it resets. Oh, oh, there's a fan here. I don't even think I noticed that. That solves that problem. Oh, no, 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 no! God damn it. Oh, that's painful. I didn't even notice that, honestly. Okay, well, since we have the opportunity, let's think about this a little more. So once we get the cube over here... Uh... I guess we'll see what's up there. Is there another cube up there? Oh, there is. Okay, so we'll get that and then figure it out. Shouldn't be too hard. Don't fall, please. Oh, damn it. Don't think there's anything I can do about that. What am I supposed to do? It's, yeah, it's destiny now. Ugh. It 
Is there a better way to do this? Not really. I don't think so. Save myself some time by doing that. Alright. As long as it stays on the platform. God, I hate that. It's like I need to try and catch it, but I also have to be rewinding that, so... It's tricky. Alright, let's get this one. I think it's just another basic cube. Yeah. So you will have... To Stay there on the exit. And then I use you to launch myself up there, right? So I don't think I need to worry about this anymore. Because that'll just stay. And you can come down here, go around the fizzle gate. That's gonna move pretty fast, actually. I might not. Hmm. Is this the best way to do this? I'm gonna try it. Shit. Do I need to bring both cubes over here? I guess that would be okay, actually, because I could just rewind. That one, except for that's going to be an issue. Or maybe not. All right, let's be smart about this. I don't want to fuck everything up, but... I think we can put this here. I think I want this one on this button. Because I don't want to start moving when I rewind it. So you stay there. God, I'm so glad I actually landed that on the button, because I don't think there's anything I could do if I missed. I'd have to reset. <laughs> Couldn't really see entirely what I was doing there. Um, okay, so now I move you. You go back to the door button. Beautiful. Okay. Felt pretty good about that one. Not too bad. Let's take a guess. Uh, 
81. Eh. Oh. Oh, you're just standing there. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought I was actually gonna maybe get a chance to interact with it. God, the frequency of those things appearing is increasing. This is an automated message. Please do not reply. To Jericho. Unfortunately, the Entropy Center has rerouted Earth to a date that is before your date of birth. This now means that, unfortunately, you will be unable to return to Earth due to potential duplicate person. We thank you for your service and sacrifice to the Entropy Center. Holy shit, that never even really occurred to me. That's scary. So what, you just live the rest of your life here on the moon, I guess? Knowing there's another version of you on Earth that's living your life the way you would have? Then what happens if that other version of you also decides to work for the Entropy Center? I guess they would be denied? But would they, would the Entropy Center explain to them why they can't work here? I don't know. Interesting. Interesting stuff. See, that's that's the kind of I, I like. I want. I want more of that. I like stuff like that.